Hi friends, welcome to daily lead code challenge. So the challenge for today is remove duplicates from the sorted array. So given a sorted array and numbers, remove the duplicates in place such that duplicates appeared at most twice and return the new length. So when you have a sorted array and with elements repeating multiple times, we need to make sure that we, we allow only one duplicate number for every number. One duplicate for every number. So if there are, if, let's say, if there is a number uh, one, if one is repeated uh, two times, that means there are three ones, then we need to keep uh, two ones and remove the, remove the third one. So uh, this way we need to process the complete array and return uh, the uh, new array. And we need to do this in place. That means we don't have, we should not use additional space. So yeah, do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with more of an extra memory. So we should use constant uh, memory. And we need to return the uh, integer value. So that means the final return value that we are uh, going to uh, return is that should be the that should be the uh, length of the modified array. So we are not going to return a new array because we are not going to use the extra space. So we are going to modify the same array and that is passed to us. But we will return the uh, effective uh, final length. That means obviously it may be the same as the original length or it will be less than the original length because we may have removed some elements. So these are the examples. So we have uh, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. So the output will be, uh, we need to return the length, the final result length. So here if you see, we have removed additional one. Then uh, two, two, 2 numbers are allowed, so this is fine. And 3 has, uh, three has only one uh, number, so that is also fine. So the final uh, length is 5. So we need to return the length of 5 and we need to modify the original array that is passed to us. The second example we have uh, 0, 0 and uh, number 1 is repeated uh, 3 times that means total of 4 ones then 2, 3, 3. So we need to uh, remove these additional 2 numbers and our final length will be 7. So this is what we have to return. And the constraints are such that the length of the array can go from 0 till 3 star 10 power 4. So this is uh, considerably high. So we need to make sure that we come up with a uh, optimized solution. And the value of the value of the numbers in the array can go from minus 10 power 4 to 10 power 4. And it is uh, and we are and it is sure that we are going to get the numbers in the increasing order. So it is already sorted order. So keeping in these constraints in mind, so uh, what should be our approach? I mean, the straightforward approach that could, that we can follow. In case if we are allowed to use additional space, what we can do is we can count the frequency of each number. That means uh, check all the unique numbers, then count their frequencies. Then we can uh, form a new array. Like uh, if the frequency of a particular number is more than two, we just take two numbers from that and then ignore the other numbers. Then we fill our new array with uh, respect to uh, unique elements. So this way we can uh, easily do it by using additional space. But here we are not supposed to use additional space. So we need to modify the existing array. So let's take an example and see how we can do it. Let's see, this is, an, this is our example. So what we are going to do is uh, check every number and uh, uh, take one current number and you just compare if the current number is same as the, uh, if your uh, number in your array is same as the current number. If it is same, you keep uh, incrementing your index. That means the index, make sure that uh, the index maintains your current position in the array, original array. So whenever you encounter the same number, you increment your uh, current position and make sure that the, the current number count is less than less than or equal to 2. So if it is more than uh, 2, you just ignore. So let's see what I am saying here. So let's say your current number is first initialized with the number 1 first number then your index will be 0 then you keep uh, checking the number if your car so you process the complete array so you check with first number so is the first number same as the current number if it is same you copy so your index will so your index will become 1 then again check the next number next number also is same as your current number so index will be 2 now and your count if you keep uh, maintaining the count of your numbers 
will be two because you have co you have already uh, copied two uh, ones and whenever uh, you get third one so the count will become three so you don't copy that so your index will remain same but your uh, array index will keep moving to next number so whenever you get a different number you update your current number to the different number then make sure that its count is one then you keep uh, for, uh, start keep doing your process so you compare the current number with your uh, existing number if they are same you copy it you increment your id index current index in the array then uh, whenever you get uh, number your count is uh, more than two you ignore that number this, uh, in this way you process the complete array so finally your index will be having your answer that will be uh, index will be the length of your uh, modified array so that you are going to return so in this case when you copy 3 it becomes 5 so your current number becomes 3 and the count is anyway 1 so you don't have to worry about uh, more number of duplicates so this way you need to maintain uh, count of your current number how many numbers you are allowing then what is the current number then what is your index so the index will be the index in the final array so let's look at the code so whenever you get an empty array because the constraints dimension length of array can be zero so first you just make sure that if it is zero you just return zero then you take an index so this will keep the updated array count so your final value will be final return value will be the idx then you maintain one count to count the current character current number occurrences of current number then you initialize current number with the number of first number and then you go through the complete array so one by one you process all the numbers from 0 to size minus 1 then if your current number is uh, if your uh, number at i position is same as the current number that means you have got the same number so you increment your count and you add the number to the you increment your uh, current index the final index that you are going to return so you, are, you will copy the number to that position so uh, and this will be done only if the count is less than 2. So if the count is uh, more than 2, you are, you are not going to copy that number. And if there is a mismatch in that number and the current number, then that means you have uncounted new number. So you copy that number to your current number. Then again, you update the, your array with the current index. At the current index you copy your new number and we need to make sure that count is one because we have already copied one to the index so this way uh, finally we will end up with the modified array index so that we are going to return so let's see if it works fine it works fine so let's submit and check. let's submit and check so the solution has been accepted let's check more details and before that we will see a java solution so it's exactly same so we just check the length if it is zero you return zero then you maintain index which will maintain a final array length then count to make sure that uh, how many current numbers how many numbers of a particular number uh, you are allowing in your array which is less than or equal to 2 then you maintain the current number then you go through the entire array and see if it is same number you increment your count and, and make sure that it is less than 2 less than or equal to 2 because you are starting with 0 then you copy your number to the uh, current index that is the final index of the array and if there is a mismatch you update your current number with the uh, new number then make sure that count is 1 because you have already copied the number to your index finally return the index so let's run this as well in java so it works fine so let's submit so the solution has been accepted let's check the runtime details So for C++, yeah, all the test cases have been passed and a runtime of 8 milliseconds.
and for java run time of zero milliseconds and all the test cases have been passed so when you look at the source code we are not using any space and we are modifying the array in place so we are not using any additional space and we are finally returning the finally returning the modified array length so that satisfies the preconditions that has that are set in the problem description so that's it for today thank you